for sticking with Fox 14 and Valerie Moravi topping our second half hour on Fox. It's been called a halftime show of the carnival season. The greasing of the polls is less than three weeks away on Friday before Mardi Gras. Kenny Lopez got a preview of this year's local competitors. Back in the day, hotel engineers at the Royal Sinesta New Orleans greased the poles for practical reasons during Mardi Gras. This is a, a celebration that started as a necessity. It started really as a safety concern. So the goal of the greasing is to make sure that the partiers don't climb up these poles. But if they tried to climb up, they would quickly fall down and slide down. Over the years, the pole greasing has turned into a Bourbon Street extravaganza with local celebrities competing to be the top greaser. In 2023, WGNO's meteorologist, Brooke Laser, won. We have such a long lineage of champions at WGNO. It's hard to believe that it's been four years since I was crowned greasing of the poles champion on this pole, but this year, who are the greasers? We've got reality TV star from MTV's The Real World and the traitors, Trishel Canatella. I am so excited to be a greaser. It's one of my favorite events in New Orleans, and I hope that you all come out to support me. Mwah. Two social media influencers, Emily Smith and Tracy. And I'm so excited to do it because I feel like it is the most New Orleans thing you can participate in, maybe of all time. But what I'm most excited about is seeing all those happy faces and knowing that I'm going to be one of the people that's adding to their joy. And rounding out the competition, a 6'10 stomper, Maude Sullivan. Why am I excited for greasing of the poles? Well, this event is iconic and it's messy. And if there's two things I go for in life, it's being iconic and getting messy. And you know, the grease will be slinging.